API RBI software from E2G is the industry standard for performing risk-based inspection on fixed equipment. Fully documented in API 581, the software was developed by an API-sponsored joint industry project. It is the only truly quantitative tool for providing metrics and probability of failure calculations due to ongoing damage. The newest version of API RBI runs in the Plant Manager platform, providing a flexible, efficient way to share common data and results with other E2G software products such as Sage Plus and CMLWise. Let's take a look at the software. In the Plant Manager platform, I can work in a local database stored anywhere on my computer or on a network database stored on a server. I can connect to multiple databases at the same time. The navigation tree on the left is similar to a folder structure on your computer. At the top level, I can right-click to create a physical equipment tree or a folder. Here I've created a corporation and under that a plant with a gas processing unit. 581 defines a list of standard fixed equipment. By right-clicking the unit, I can add one or many pieces of equipment to the unit. A list of available components can be added for each piece of equipment. The basic information required for an API RBI study is contained under the API RBI tab. Notice the colored fields. Yellow indicates a required field. If data is missing from a required field, a red X will display next to the field and on the tab at the top. Default values are italicized and can be easily overwritten. Pink fields display data pulled from another source and are read-only. Purple fields indicate a calculated value. Comments can be added to any field. If a comment exists, the color of the keyword will be highlighted. I can add a flag to any field such as needs review and later do a search for all fields with the needs review flag. Flags are marked with a color coded icon next to the field as well as a bright yellow icon on the tab at the top. Once the flag is cleared, the flag icons are removed. The general tab contains the basic design information, geometry, in this case it's a cylinder, material of construction based on the design code, and the inventory grouping information. The Operating Conditions tab contains parameters for pressure and temperature, the process fluid, and its fluid components. A fluid designer is available at the corporation level, allowing you to define your own custom fluid recipes. The Component Settings tab contains a wide range of information, which model to use, the RBI date, the plan date, whether the inspection plan should be based on an area or financial target. When the calculated risk for the target entered here exceeds the plan date, an inspection will be recommended. All of these fields have default values that can be set at the unit level. I can change the values on a single component or apply a change to the entire unit all at once. On the volume and mass, I can enter values to override the calculated values for total component mass and liquid volume. The Damage Mechanisms tab contains filtered options based on the material and component specified. The primary tab under Damage Mechanisms is the Mechanism Activation. It allows for multi-selection from the list of possible damage mechanisms. When I select a damage mechanism, an additional tab and detail tab will appear for that mechanism. If I select Amine under Cracking, I see a red X on the Cracking tab letting me know that data is required. Then if I click on the Cracking tab, I now have an Amine tab with required data fields in yellow. The Screening tab contains a list of simple questions that will help identify a list of possible damage mechanisms. My answers to these questions will activate the possible damage mechanisms for the selected equipment. Once we've entered all of the data under the Damage Mechanism tabs, the software will use this information to determine how much damage is occurring. That information is then used to help calculate the probability of failure. Finally, the Inspection History tab is where I can store all of my inspection data. There are a number of convenient data entry features for inspections. This bulk inspection entry method can be used to enter a large number of reports for a unit. Once I select a component on the left, select or add an inspection date. Enter the grade for each damage mechanism and enter a comment. I can create a stored list of frequently used comments and then just select one to add. Save and Next lets you quickly march down the list of equipment and components in the unit. Another useful feature for inspections is the ability to store supporting data files such as inspection reports, Excel files, or JPEGs right under the component. I can drag and drop this UT inspection right from my Windows directory into a folder I've created under the component. Any file type can be copied over and will become part of the RBI database. 
After I've entered all of the required data for my RBI study, I'm ready to calculate by clicking the green icon at the top. Once the calculation is complete, I toggle from input to output to view my results. Each component will have an inspection planning tab. Calculation parameters are in the upper left, my plan date and target information. The calculated inspection plan tells me what, if any, inspections are recommended. For this component, a thinning inspection is called for before my specified plan date. At the bottom, a risk summary table for four different scenarios. My RBI date, target date without inspection, which is calculated, plan date without inspection, and plan date with inspection. You can see that my total risk at the plan date goes down with an inspection versus what it would be without any inspection. There are a number of reports that can be generated based on my results. This area risk matrix plots damage versus consequence and shows the number of inspections required for each risk category. Another report, this inspection plan summary report, is a detailed list of all recommended inspections from my RBI study. The report file generated is an Excel file so it can be saved and formatted or used as part of a larger report. The API RBI software in Plant Manager provides an accurate, efficient way to input and store data, calculate risk, generate a list of recommended inspections, and create detailed reports for all your fixed equipment. The flexible, user-friendly environment gives many visual clues to guide both seasoned experts and new users through the RBI process. The Plant Manager platform allows seamless integration with other E2G products such as CMLYs for condition monitoring locations and Sage Plus used in fitness for service and other advanced analyses. Thank you for watching. For more information on API RBI or to request a live demonstration, please email software underscore sales at equityinch.com or call 216 658-2273.